Hey YouTube, it's Scott Leard here, uh, bringing you another video on canning today, or at least two videos. I'm um, going to try something new. Uh, I'm going to try to can breakfast sausage patties. Uh, now I've had this idea for a few weeks. Uh, actually bought some sausage a week and a half ago and finally got a chance to cook it up today and I'm going to can it. So, what I did is I browned the sausage patties and I made two rolls of it and we had some for breakfast this morning, biscuits and gravy and all that, but then a can left over so I browned the sausage there it is there and uh, I just put uh, four of the big slices there in one pint jar I'm not going to can up the rest of that. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and have it probably for breakfast tomorrow morning. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to can that up and see what happens with it. But uh, while I've got the camera pointed here, I want to talk about these. I went to the Self-Reliance Expo uh, last weekend in Arlington and came across these. A few of the vendors there had them. I never knew that they had reusable canning lids until I saw these. Uh, but everyone I've talked to there at the expo, a couple of canning experts were giving seminars on stuff. They all had great things to say about the Tattler lids. That uh, in the 30 years that they've been out, they've never heard of any problems with them. And if you do happen to have some kind of a problem with your rings or the plastic lids themselves, they have lifetime warranties. So, they're BPA free, made in America. Good stuff. Uh, but yeah, these were $10.95 for a dozen. They have the wide mouth and they have the regular lids too. I got some of each. Uh, but yeah, from what I've seen and read the directions on using these, uh, what to do is you go ahead and scald it just like normal. Um, I'll get my little two-piece system going there, get the uh, rubber rim or the ring onto the lid itself. Now then, I'll try to do this one-handed. Of course, it's not going to work out great. But, alright, so it's seated on there and you just put the ring on and you do it fingertip tight, not real snug, just like that, fingertip tight. And, of course, put it in the old canner. I want to waste a lot of space and can one jar today. But so, I'm going to process that for 75 minutes. Um, but when it's done, you take it out, and while it's hot, you're supposed to take a towel and really cinch down on the lid while it's fresh out of the can or good hunt, cinch down on it at that point to make sure that it's going to seal up. And supposedly those things work just as good as metal lids. If you do those directions, then you'll have a good sealing success rate. Uh, if you clench down on it real tight when you put it in there, chances are that it's not going to have the venting that it needs and uh, it's not going to seal up right. But We'll see how these work out. This is my first time to use those. I was real excited when I saw them because I've been thinking, you know, what can they do for a reusable lid? Because, I mean, shit hits the fan, can't go to the store and pick up new lids, and you go out and kill some animals, some deer, squirrels, rabbits, what have you, and you want to can them up, you won't be able to if you don't have any lids. But with these, I need to get a bunch more if they work out right because I'll have uh, reusable lids for the rest of my life. So I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. Um, I'll shoot another video showing the results, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, later, y'all.